Hey YouTube, welcome to CC10. I did a base face except chapstick. Y'all know I gotta wait for y'all to do chapstick. And my lips were dry. But I saw I'm gonna wait for my trolls to come with me. And we will moisturize our lips together. This video, I'm gonna show you what I wash my face with. I use different things depending on just like how I'm feeling and what I feel like my face needs, my skin needs. I am 52 years old. Um, and so my skincare products, for the most part, the serums and moisturizers stay the same, but what I wash my face with differs. This is the first thing I'm going to show you, the Garnier Skin Active, the Gentle Sulfate Free Cleanser, gently foams to remove oil impurities and makeup for soft, healthy looking skin. All skin types, even sensitive skin, no sulfates, oil, soap, alcohol, or fragrance, dermatologist tested for gentleness. My previous partner, he had picked this up, and when I tried it, I'm like, oh, so when I got home, I bought one. My skin, well, my face really, really likes this. And if I travel, this way is on, I mean open, this way is closed. And so you can take it with you if you're traveling, which I do like that as well. This stays on my sink. I do wash my face twice a day, in the morning at the sink, at night at the sink unless I'm in the shower and then there's other things I'll use to wash my face with in the shower but this stays on my sink and just to show you consistency of what it is that's what the consistency is and it's very gentle very smooth and sometimes if I do just have on foundation and um, powder bronzer anything but eyeshadow I have used this to wash my face, but then I'll just wash my face twice, cause, and it actually does remove makeup, but then I'll just wash it again twice for my double cleanse. And it leaves my skin feeling really soft, really nourished, really good, and then I do my creams and serums and all of that stuff. In my shower, this is in my shower. I have it on here because it keeps this from getting the catty part nasty. <laughs> So this is so there. This is from Drunk Elephant, and this is the Juju Bar. I saw a video probably about a year ago. Uh, Wayne Goss did a video, and he talked about, and this is the travel set, Peaky Bar, which is this one, and it's wrapped in cellophane. And on the back it says Peaky Bar. This one is just a regular, not to say regular, but non-exfoliating soap, and on the and on the other side is the Juju Bar, which is an exfoliating soap. And he was saying how he uses this one during the day and this one at night. I don't know if he still does because, as I said, the video was like a year ago. And it does exfoliate, but it's very gentle. It does not irritate my skin. And so I really like these. And it was, I forget what it costs. And so I liked it so much. You guys know me. I bought it back up. So <laughs> this one stays in my shower. This these two, as you see, I have not opened yet, but I just wanted to show you what they look like. When I travel, I have a, ju a juju bar. Wait, wait, I'm getting mixed up now, which is which. Oh, that's why I put them in here about this. <laughs> I have a peaky bar and a juju bar, and I like that they both fit inside of a regular size soap storage dish and so when I travel this is what I take with me not that I'm traveling now because of COVID and also in my shower the Olay Be Generous Regenerating Cream Cleanser and let me see what the back says what face blah 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 blah, blah. Olay's Creamy Cleanser Hydrates and smooths skin surface with gentle exfoliators while prepping skin for your other regenerous products. No parabens, mineral oils, flat, flatulates. You know I want to say flagellants, <laughs> but we know it's not flagellants. And no synthetic dyes. This one, I don't find that it feels um, exfoliating at all. So this to me is just... A regular cleanser as you can see is a little thick but it might be because that hole is so tiny and so <laughs> yeah I don't I don't get anything that's foliating out of here to me this is just and I'm reading it again yeah so if there if there are gentle exfoliators in here they really are really gentle I do slightly feel little scrubbies but when my face is wet and after I you know rub this in my hands and put it on my face I don't feel any of those little scrubbies 
And so maybe, so I guess it is just really gentle. I don't know. But I don't feel it on my face. Not at all. The last thing that's in my shower to wash my face with is the Peter Thomas Roth, excuse me, Potency Power Scrub. It has vitamin C, vitamin E, and folic acid in it. And it is an, it is an exfoliator. It exfoliates with jojoba spheres and aluminum oxide conditions with white cocoa butter beads. This does exfoliate, and it has a whole bunch of information on the back. Massage in the circular motions on damp skin to activate the brightening, exfoliating, and conditioning benefits. Rinse with warm water. Use two or three times a week or as needed. For sensitive skin, massage lightly for gentle exfoliation. Normal skin or rough areas, massage more vigorously for deeper exfoliation. This actually smells good, and I'm not one for fragrance in skincare because of my sinuses, but it does smell citrusy. This... <laughs> Put some in my hand, wet my face, and then rub my hands together and put it on. But this is really different. Like, can you see, like, those beads and things in here? And I can feel this exfoliating my face. This is what it looks like. And you don't need a lot. And, yeah, you see those beads? That's what exfoliates, and you can feel it all over. At the same time, though, it feels good, and I do go very lightly because I do have sensitive skin. I have not had any had any problems with this irritating my skin or breaking me out, but it it does what it says it does as far as the exfoliating aspect, as far as brightening. I don't know. I I use what I feel like my face needs. Any night that I'm going to use the D Peter, not the Peter. Dennis Gross's <laughs> Alpha Beta Pills. A night that I know I'm going to use one of those pills, I do not use this exfoliator. I do not use the Drunk Elephant Peaky Bar because these, these two things do exfoliate my skin, which will just make the Alpha Beta Pill irritate my skin even more. And so nights when I don't use the Alpha Beta Pill, I'll either use, if I'm at the sink, the Garnier, the Gentle Sulfate Free Cleanser, or I'll use the Olay Regenerating Cream Cleanser. And so that's what I do. Am I missing anything? No. So let me know what you guys use below for washing your face and the reasons why. Do you just have one face wash that you use every time, or do you switch up depending on what you feel like your skin needs? I will add really quick, I specifically use, if I'm not using the Alpha Beta Pill, I do specifically use the Peter Thomas Roth, or the Peaky Bar on days when I do go out because of that mask, the mask that I wear, because it does irritate and aggravate my skin. And I realized when I wasn't exfoliating, if I wore the mask, my skin, w I, I was having more dry patches on my skin than usual. And so I found that using one of these two products on days when I u wear a mask, and when I'm not gonna use the Alpha Beta Pill, it does help my skin not have those dry patches and not be irritated or flaky. And so thank you for watching. Let me know what you're using and let me know your age range as well. I'm over 50, so this is skincare for over 50. And you will see me in the next video. Bye.